Calls for action at Eureka Gardens one week after a mass shooting there now. Federal and city officials say they have a plan in the works to bring 24-7 security to the West Side apartment complex. Just in the past 90 minutes, representatives from the Department of Housing and Urban Development wrapped up a meeting with residents at Eureka Gardens. The HUD officials came to answer questions and calm fears one week after seven people were shot. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker was at the meeting and joins us live. First, Fran, do you have an update on the seven people who were wounded in the shooting? Actually, Mary, that was one of the first things that that HUD representative spoke to residents about today. He said five of those people have now been released from the hospital, one person still in critical condition, and one person still very serious. But today, a lot of moving and shaking were ha was happening in these doors at Eureka Gardens. Many of the residents say they feel frustrated still, but they are hopeful now that a plan is in action. It's a problem that has persisted in this West Side complex for years. Crime ranging from robberies to shootings. The latest incident came last Monday when police say three gunmen fired into a group of people, injuring seven. That was the incident that sparked outrage and has Mayor Lenny Curry taking action. We are going to be uh, involved in understanding who the potential acquirer is, who's buying this, and to make sure that uh, they understand that uh, we're going to have expectations in terms of living conditions and safety. Monday night, the mayor was invited by HUD to a community meeting that addressed the sale of the property and crime. In Monday's meeting, Ed Jennings with HUD told me a course of action has finally been mapped out. What we required the new owner to do is come back, uh, identify a security consultant that could develop a security plan for this property. Uh, they're going to identify that person by Wednesday, and then we're going to be working uh, with them once they have that plan developed to say what prioritize implementation uh, of that plan. Though the plan is promising, Homeowners Association President Tracy Grant says she wants to hear that security will be provided 24-7. She says the residents deserve to feel safe. Preferably something will really come out of that. Um, we just need, we need a full-time security firm that's going to stay in Eureka. Again, big things are happening now. This week, JSO, the current owner, and the mayor are all going to be sitting down at the same table to come up with this plan. And again, security or new measures of security could happen right here at Eureka Gardens within the next month. We'll keep you updated. For now, I'm live. Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, The Local Station.